Hi, I'm Leo from My Baba, and I am here with amazing makeup artist Emro Byrne, who has just been teaching me how to do a five minute mum on the run look. So, this is it, and now over to you, Emma. Okay, five minutes from me, five minutes <laughs> from her. I'm going to show you how. Okay, so here we are, nothing on my face now, clean skin, ready to go. <laughs> what first? So, we've got a little bit of moisturizer on the skin, and I am going to. First off, do what I always do, get my Ico eyelash curlers okay, and cool. curl your eyelashes. And these actually were in the glossy box this month. Love glossy box. Amazing glossy box, so good. But eyelash curlers are an absolute essential in any girl's kit, especially a tired mama. Yeah. Curl those lashes, open the eyes, wakey wakey. How often do you do it in the day? How long does it usually last? Well, the thing question? is, the thing is, what, the reason you curl them is because then you, when you put your mascara on, it can really it hold them up. up. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to try using this new um, Sicily SPF 30. It's a tinted moisturizer and it's fantastic for mums on the run. Super quick. Got your SPF. Covered. Got your cover. Um, and even in the winter, it's quite good to use an SPF, isn't it? Oh and my you get God. Older. Essential. Yeah. So I like to use um, a brush to apply the foundation. Why is that? Just because it's a lot faster and it goes on evenly um, and you sort of don't miss patches. And anything to save time in the morning. Exactly. Also sometimes when you put it on your hand, I don't know about you, but I, it's ended up on my trousers. Yes, or white towels. Oh, white towels. Not good. Yeah. Exactly. But time really is of the essence here, isn't it? I mean, sometimes I go out with nothing on at all. Just move your face a little bit. And you always feel so much better when even with a bit of tinted moisturizer, I guess. Well, yeah, and if you are working or you've got stuff to do, then, you know, it's nice to just feel like you're semi-done. And this is a really good quick fix. And having the SPF also, I think, gives a very nice glow to the skin, mm. which is nice to have a little... And don't it's forget the neck. Winter. Yeah, Look how long do you, how far down do you go? Just a little bit, just because generally the face is a bit darker than the neck. Um, and also people forget the neck and, um, you know, obviously we're in heading towards Easter now, so hopefully the sun is going to start coming out. So. Okay, so we've curled the eyelashes, we've put the um, foundation on. Now one thing I like to do is just to use a little brown pencil you can use any brown pencil. We're using the uh, Tom Ford here, Metallic Mink. And I what I like brown. to do is, we're gonna close your eyelids a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And what you do is you, basically you just go along the tear line and the top of the lash lines. And you get Is the, this easy to do on yourself as well? You sort of have to close down a little bit mm -hmm. and try and follow the tear line. I guess it's, it's not simple, practice makes but perfect. practice makes perfect. I'm just gonna do the other eye. Um, and get right into the tear line and like by the lash line and the advantage of doing that and see you just hold up your lid yeah not hard not hard but the great thing about doing that is then usually what happens is the two tear lines meet and you oh, get so you get you double trouble you get double trouble <laughs> exactly double for the price of one exactly and then I'm going to use this Chanel um new volumizing mascara it's fantastic it's got like a super easy wand that doesn't really smudge so we're just gonna put this so i like to really try and get into the roots and particularly since we've curled the eyelashes the lashes are in a good position to catch the mascara on that bend and do you ever um curl them after as well or always before always before because if you curl them afterwards, generally then the, the mascara is going to go on. A bit sticky. Yeah. So we'll just do this. Close down a little bit for me. Fight me. As you can see with this mascara, it's pretty easy because it doesn't smudge so much. And I think for mums on the run, you really want to try and find a mascara that doesn't smudge too much we don't really have time to be fixing mistakes. No, definitely not. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, actually I'm going to do your brows. We're going to use mm. this Benefit Gimme Brow in Blonde. And this is fab, super quick. In blonde? Yeah, it's a blonde color because you're a blonde lady. Yes. So we're just going to put it right on the brows, brush up. And it gives you this wonderful brow in seconds. Brows are still so in, aren't they? Yeah. I, I love a brow. brow. I love a brow. <laughs> You've got a good brow. Oh my god, I've got a uni brow. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> and what about concealer and stuff? Would you use that or would the um, the tinted moisturizer do the trick? I think, you know, it's it's a personal thing. Yeah. So we can put a little bit, I'm gonna use hourglass, we can use a little mm. bit of Concealer in the spots that you need it, which are usually a bit under your eyes, a little bit around your nose. Look, open up. Why on the chin? I've always got. I don't know why, but the chin thickness. always seems to be a bit darker, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe it just catches all the sun. We're always wearing hats, and the chin just gets it. Mm. And look up. It's a little bit there. Fantastic. God, so we're almost there. We're almost there. Can't be more than five minutes. Wow. Well. Uh, with us chatting, with us chatting, maybe more. A little bit of Bobbi Brown Pale Pink Cream Blusher. Do I smell like a Cheshire Cat? Yes. This? Right in the apples. Let me just move you a little bit. In the apples, gorgeous. Always use your little middle finger. No, your big middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad finger. But just be careful to keep it in the apples of the cheeks. Don't go all the way out the sides. Oh, you can really? add a little bit here on your lips. We're also going to just put some, I like the Sicily lip balm mm -hmm. because it's quite nice to just not have to wear lipstick. Yeah. Day. And as I said, we can just use that blusher. Now, I think that looks pretty good. Ready to go. That's pretty good. Fantastic. Yeah.